I just want to start off this video as a small PSA. Honestly, the shop's small. I have been buying all my coffee from a small shop literally right down the street from me. And honestly, I think those businesses need our money way more than Starbucks does. So you guys, if you guys get the chance, please shop small with this quarantine. I've been going crazy at home, honestly. And if you've seen this video, it's not on one of my usual upload days. So let's get into it. One of the things I've been seeing a lot on social media from Reddit to Instagram to, I, don't, I mean, I guess Facebook too, is everybody talking about their top five sneakers that they own. And I wanted to talk about my top five sneakers, but instead of just doing a sneaker wheel of them, I really just want to talk about them and just kind of show you guys this video. Hopefully this video isn't too long because I don't intend for it to be, but let's get into it. This is going to be in no particular order. I haven't even really thought about it, so I have all my shoes back here that I'm going to talk about and kind of give an explanation of why it is in my personal top five. Now, I guess to start off this video, probably the shoe you guys see the most in all my videos because I just tend to non-stop talk about them and I actually thought about selling these at some point is my Fear of God Jungle Military Sneakers. These have got to be like one of my favorite shoes that I own and it's funny, I actually didn't wear them for months because I was just like... I don't know how to wear them at work with this kind of part coming out here. It's a little too, you know, designer for most people. And I don't really want to stand stand out at work like that. But the thing I've been doing is actually taking this in and then covering it. So it looks more normal in a sense. You can still tell it's a designer sneaker. You can still tell by this big chunky midsole. But honestly, this is probably one of my favorite shoes Jerry has ever come out with. I personally love the look of this way more than anything that he's released with Nike Fear of God. Anything like that, this has been by far and away my favorite thing. I think this was a shoe that really made me fall in love with Jerry's kind of mainline silhouettes in general with the shoes. And the other shoe that I really want is the hiking boot or the hiking sneaker. That's the one I really want too, but for today, this is number one in my top five. Or I guess the first one out of my top five. You know, this is actually tough doing this on the spot. I know you guys won't see all of it because I'll be cutting a lot of it, but this is actually hard to pick my top five. All right, number two, because this is honestly probably my most worn sneaker of 2017, 2018, and that is to represent Alpha Mids. I picked these up and these have got to be like one of my most worn shoe to date. These are made of all leather up top. They feature this really cool like detailing on them. It basically feels like a Jordan to me. It kind of looks like a Jordan in a lot of ways, but not really. But there's just something about the shoe that to me is just so special. I own this in a black and white colorway and a black and red colorway, just because of how much I love this shoe so much. It isn't the most comfortable sneaker on the planet. The military sneakers are more comfortable, but this is a shoe that I could wear all day and honestly was a big part of my aesthetic for a while. I love this like chunky midsoles. You'll probably see that a lot with kind of a lot of the shoes I like is the soles are a lot chunkier. And if I dare to say, I probably have the most unique top five on YouTube. And that's not gloating, it's not saying anything, but just for me personally, that's my personal style and I don't want anybody else to affect it. So yeah, number two, you probably don't see these on anybody's even top tens. These have got to be easily top five for me. Better than any Jordan 1, in my opinion. And for one of their first sneakers that they released, they did a damn good job at Represent. All right. At number three, we're going to go with the Common Projects Keeley's Low Sneaker. This one is here for more sentimental reasons rather than me just loving this shoe to the end of the earth and back. This one I love more because this is the shoe I actually got married in. And these will always hold a little bit more special value to me because of that. I think it'll always be in the top five no matter what. It is also just a timeless shoe. Like you've seen these around since like probably 2015, probably before I was even into fashion at all and I was just wearing flannels every day. But yeah, this has got to be honestly in my top five just because of the sentimental reason behind it more than anything else. If I was going based off like style and how much I wear it, Mm, I would say probably top 10, but definitely not top five for this. But because of the sentimental value behind it, this is in my top five. And number four, this one was, it's getting a little bit tougher deciding like the last two in my list. But for the fourth one on my list, I'm going to go with the Rick Owens Geo Trashers. These have got to be arguably one of my favorite shoes that Rick Owens has ever done. I think I love it so much because I did own a Geo Basket. And the problem with Geo Basket for me is I had the cream ones and it really went with none of my fits. I thought I looked like the boss. I thought I looked like the man. I didn't have any problems. And then after a while, you realize that you kind of look a little dorky. 
and you're more just standing out just to stand out rather than it complementing a fit. These ones, I really feel like they just blend in so well. These Geo Trashers to me are kind of like that perfect segue of someone who wants to get into Rick Owens but doesn't want to dive too, too deep into Rick land because a lot of Rick shoes are extremely expensive. These are no different. These do look like a skate high. There's so many little things that really elevate this above a skate high in my opinion. And honestly, I don't like the Geo Trash shoes that don't have this little thing down here that holds your laces. I think this is really what makes this Geo Trash shoe silhouette so unique. And you know, you lace your laces around here. Honestly, this is such a wearable shoe. Me and my best friend both bought a pair when it went on sale at Essence, and we both equally wear them a shit ton. And I had to replace the laces on mine, so they look really crispy right now. But eventually down here, because of this, it's like a gift and a curse. It just starts to wear away at your laces a little bit. But overall, honestly, easily top five. Now I gotta figure out the last one. So I'll give me one second in editing time and I'll have it here. And speaking about my best friend who bought it with me, he actually just messaged me on Discord. So Alec, if you're watching this, perfect timing on that one. And I officially lied when I said it would take me a second to edit. So now after this cut, you're gonna see my number five shoe, which is my Saint Laurent SL6. Now this one isn't all black. The one that everybody buys pretty much is the all white one with the black logo. For me, I I don't know, I don't want to be too, too flashy, so then about the black ones. And most people can't even tell if they're St. Laurent, so that's why I kind of like them. It's people just think they're an unassuming pair of black shoes, which is kind of what they are. I feel like this pair gets a lot of bad rep from people because they are a canvas shoe. But the little details to it, like this kind of distressing on the tongue right here, the insole of it, which is actually extremely comfortable. Whoever tells you they're not comfortable, like are they just wearing Ultra Boost all the time? Like these ones are so much more comfortable than most of the designer sneakers I own, which is quite a bit, as you can tell from what I've shown. Pretty much all those shoes I have that are my top five as a designer, which isn't on purpose. Uh, but yeah, it's just those are just the shoes I own. I don't buy them because of the name. I buy them because I like them personally, but just to be real, they didn't have certain brand names behind them. I probably wouldn't like them if I'm being 1000% honest. And in my opinion, I feel like this is the most unique top five that you'll see on YouTube out of any YouTuber at all. If you want any of them to challenge me, I'm down. But yeah, you got the represents, you got my common projects, my St. Laurent's, my Rick Owens and my fears. Overall, I would say that these are pretty unique and honestly all have a special place in my heart and if i had to say which five shoes do i want to keep for the rest of my life these would probably be my five personally with saying all this this is not what the hell i'm saying anymore i have coffee in me and it's like three and i normally film a lot later i'm just going crazy in quarantine i think yeah let me know what you guys think of my top five in the comments below and let me know your guys' top five favorite sneakers. I'd love to know that personally. And if you guys have a more unique collection than I do, I would honestly love to hear it. I love hearing new sneakers and stuff I've never even heard about in my life. And with that being said, thank you so much for stopping by this channel, watching this video of me just talking about five freaking sneakers for however the hell long this video is. Again, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.